What is up, Karatex? Welcome to our Need for Speed Heat video. This should be customizing the 2018 Mercedes AMG C63 Coupe. A lot of you guys requested this one, so here it is. We're back with some more Need for Speed Heat videos. So let's get right into the visual customization. Front fenders, you got a prior design wide body. Very nice there. You can also see the other side as well. Got some cool vent design there. I like that a lot. They got the Speed Hunters one, which is a little wider and um, I don't like the way it wraps up, like kind of wraps here and kind of cuts away and very weird design to say the least. Um, <laughs> not feeling that at all. So I'm going to do the prior design one. I like that a lot. Very nice. Okay, moving on to the headlights. You got the stock ones. You got tinted, yellow, and then all the, you know, all the different colors. Okay. You got the canards. The single, the double, and then the uh, very large ones that take up almost the entire bumper. Looks kind of like a... <laughs> I don't know. It looks weird. Very strange. Um, I'm not really a fan of canards, so I'm not going to put them. Uh, moving on roof. You can do a roof wing. That's, uh, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> okay. Got a hood. Got the prior design hood. Very nice. Got that vent there, the heat extractor, love that. Then we got um, this thing. <laughs> it's a lot of vents, wow. I mean, geez, are you cooling down a, a Bugatti motor in there or something? Like, geez. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. All right, moving along to the front grill. You can do this one, which adds like, it makes it all carbon and then adds these lines. I wish they would've had a carbon one without the lines, but I'm not really feeling the uh, all those random lines around the grill, so I guess we'll keep the stock one. Front bumper, you got the prior design front bumper. You do some more aggressive uh, air intakes. Looks very good. I like that a lot. Very different. Awesome looking. I, I love that. Let's do that. Moving along to the front splitter. So you can put the prior design one. You can do the Mercedes Benz one, and you have all the different other ones here. So I think, I think we're gonna go with the, let's go with the prior design one. That is nice. It's a little lower than the Mercedes one. So let's do that. All right, side view mirrors. You got the stock carbon ones and you got these. Race car style mirrors. And you got these ones here. And then these last ones here. I love the stock carbon fiber ones. I feel like it's a shame to change that. All right, side skirts. Okay, so the difference, I think it's a little, yeah, a little strip, a little carbon strip there. This one has like a little accented line, whereas the other one is just smooth. And you got the prior design one, it's got like an air intake there, looks super sick, and a carbon fiber a side skirt extension, absolutely love that. And you got this, Jesus, <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're doing do the prior design one, very nice. Pretty much most of the parts are going to be prior design, so... All right, rear fenders, got the prior design one there. And especially at the rear, you can see, oh, it's just so much more aggressive. It looks absolutely amazing. I love that. And you got the, uh, obviously the Speed Hunters one, which I guess is very uh, track focused in that area there. So I'll definitely go with this one. Love that. Tail lights, you got light smoke, and then you can go fully blacked out. I think the blacked out look is a little too much. Uh, looks like blobs or something. I don't know, um, but I definitely want to tint them. So let's do a light tint Okay, moving along to the the sound system option there Rear spoiler so you can do a uh, stock Mercedes carbon lip, which it doesn't have right now. It looks nice Then you can do a prior design one, which is another lip, you know ducktail, but it's a little larger And you got this one and then you got all the different humongous bench seats all those there if you want to do that. I guess if you're going for like a heavy track car build. Um, a little, I'm not sure which one to put the prior design one or the stock carbon one. I feel like the white back here is a little too much, but I really like how large this one is. So I'm going to go with the prior design one. Okay, moving along, rear bumper, got the prior design one. So this one, it makes the diffuse area a little larger right above the exhaust tips. Very nice, and it also changes the rear vents. Makes them a lot larger, just looks absolutely amazing. 
this whole prior design kit is this amazing. Very, very good looking kit. Um, on here, just change the plate here. This will actually match really well with the livery we're going to put later. Do, do, do. Need for speed. The edit text, we're just going to put AMG on there. Okay. Diffuser. Okay. That one. Mercedes Benz one. Got the little trim. And you got the prior design one. And you got all these different ones here. Let's see the prior design versus the other one. Oh wow. So that the actual diffuser area goes higher up in the prior design one. Very interesting. Not sure which one to put. But at least the prior design one is all carbon though. Hmm. Let's do the prior design one. That's that's I, I like the diffuser how it's higher up. Looks really good. Okay. Exhaust tips on this side. There we go. Got the stock square exhaust. I love that. And you got these different ones. I don't I don't think any sane person would put this on their car. <laughs> like, come on man, that's just Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay. Um, all of these are pretty much ricer exhaust. I'm not really feeling any of these, so I'm not gonna put any of those. As far as the wheels, I absolutely love the wheels on this car. I mean, ever since I saw it in person, I think they're beautiful. Um, there's no really, not much of a reason to change them. And we already got carbon ceramics. We got those beautiful yellow AMG calipers. So I'm not really changing anything much here. So, I mean, it's perfect in my opinion. And I actually like the uh, silver line around the wheel. I love that accent. I think it looks really good. The only one little thing I'm going to do here just to match our livery. We're going to go to the rims. A secondary paint. Actually, let's do that so we can match it decently well. We're going to match it with the brake calipers as best we can. I don't know if this is one of the ones here. Looks like an orange. Well, that's pretty close. Kind of orangey, though. Let's see here. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's apply this one, and then we can adjust it a little bit. The gloss. Uh, gloss. Non-metallic. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we can adjust the brightness and kind of a little bit. I get as close as we can to that brake caliper. That's pretty close. That's good. Apply that. Apply it to all. There we are. And when I apply the livery, you'll see it all come together well. So livery, paint and wrap, community, what people have created, and boom. I love this livery. So this is the uh, limited edition livery. It was called edition one. It was a package offered. On the, uh, C on the AMG C63 Coupe. I absolutely love this. And we got the uh, matte gray with the yellow. I think it just looks so cool. And we did the yellow line around the wheel, which is what the real version has as well. So I love that. And um, the brake calipers and the wheel color not matching the yellow livery, that's actually how the real car is too. So that's something I made that I did by mistake. That's actually how it is on the real car. So looks amazing. I absolutely love that. Uh, now we're going to do, let's go into the internal modifications, then we'll see about lowering and all that stuff, so. Let's go through the engine swap, so you got the stock 4 liter V8 with the bi-turbo. Love that. Sounds amazing. You get up to 1,000 horsepower on that one. Then you have a 385 horsepower 4.9 liter flat 12 it's from the Ferrari Testarossa. A 416 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 from the uh, Corvette. The 570 horsepower 4.5 liter V8 from the Ferrari 458. The 600 horsepower 5.2 liter V12, that's from the Aston Martin DB11. The 646 horsepower 3.5 liter V6, that's from the 4GT. The 8.5 liter V10 from the Viper. The 710 horsepower 3.9 liter V8 from the 48 Pista, so Ferrari engine and a, and a Mercedes, that's uh, quite interesting. The uh, 730 horsepower 6.5 liter V12 from the Venador S. And then the uh, forged 3.8 liter V6, which I assume is from a GTR, but I'm not sure what it's from. Well, that's awesome there. Um, so I'm going to keep, I mean, I love the stock beefy AMG V8. I mean, very, everybody knows what they sound like. They sound amazing. So I'm going to keep, I want to keep that in the exhaust one. I think it just sounds so good. And it's kind of a shame to change that in my opinion. So I'm going to keep that. 
We are going to max it out though. Go to inventory, put all ultimate plus parts. Show the stats here increasing. Wasn't this on the right side? And the, and the update, they, now they moved it to the left. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. Okay, so you have the stock turbocharger. And this one, the upgraded turbocharger, will get you an extra 148 horsepower. The dual, which is a smaller turbo and a larger one, will give you 124. The screw supercharger, 79. Root supercharger, same thing. And the centrifugal supercharger, which is like a pro charger, that'll give you 123. So we're definitely going to go with the one that will give us the most... That is the turbocharged upgrade 148. So we're over a thousand horsepower in this car. With the 15 pound tank of nitrous. Go with track suspension. See elite brakes. That's the best one you can put. Definitely. Definitely some track tires on there as well. As far as drivetrain, we can do any elite plus clutch. Definitely. Now transmission. We already have the best one, so I'm not going to mess around with that. Differential, track differential, definitely. And then nitrous power. All right, there it is. Uh, now we're going to do the stance. So, I mean, it's already really low. Uh, we put the track suspension and all that, but you know, lower it here, you can see it, you know, just pretty much cambered out here. Um, so that's stock ride height see here I want to lower it too much I like cars decently lowered but not you know slammed to the ground I like to pay attention to the wheel arches with the tires and all that I don't like too much tuck I think, I think this is good okay exhaust mode the fun one okay that sounds so good so you can change it here more aggressive changes the tone. I'm going to go full aggressive on that for the tone. I'm not going to mess around with that. Uh, overrun, that's the cracks, pops, and flames. I'm max that out. Wait, the tone was... Oh, we go stock, my bad. Piper Residence. Yeah, I don't like what it does to that. I'm not going to touch that. Alright, save the changes. That looks... Looks so good, I love it. Alright, so in, in the effects, you know, it's just like nitrous color, tire smoke color, just random visual, you know, well, kind of lighting upgrades and stuff like that, and colored upgrades, I'm not going to mess around with any of that. So, pretty much done there, now let's take it for the uh, drive, and the top speed run as well. Definitely want to see how this thing drives. Customize because we had, we didn't do an engine swap. You know we quote unquote only have a thousand horsepower. Most cars in this game you can get them to like uh, over 1200, uh, even 1400. We've done some as well that are 1500. Pretty insane. Um, I mean, I, I sacrificed it for the sound. I mean I don't I don't want a, a V6 sound and a V8. <laughs> I think this just sounds so good. I love the AMG exhaust notes. I mean, very distinctive. I mean, you hear one pass by and you know it's an AMG. Which sounds so good. Love it. Alright. Very drives very well. Extremely stable. Absolutely love it. Very good driving feel. Um, so now let's do the uh, top speed run. Lower our downforce all the way. Wow, they changed some stuff here a little bit. Sensitivity up a little bit. Downforce all the way down. Alright. Here we go. Got almost 240. That is very good for a car with, with this much horsepower compared to what we customized and tried before. I mean, that is very impressive for a stock engine just maxed out. 
very, very impressive. I love the looks of this car, very different. I really, really like this. Mercedes AMG, they just make amazing cars. I love them. I also did the AMG Coupe in my, one of my other videos, if you guys want to check that out. That one was fun as well to customize. Look <laughs> at the flames, oh my god. This was just hilarious. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this one was highly requested. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.